Hi, I'm Thomas Pequette, and I've been an artist showing through the Art and Embassies program for going on many years now. So it's always been with me in the back of my head that somehow I'd be an artist. I come from a family of 11, and yet my parents would take us to the art museum. They pretty much had to give the whole place over to us when we got there, but I loved running around the, the galleries and seeing um, these mysterious things called paintings. Going back to fairly early childhood, my parents would take us on these long cross-continental drives for um, vacation every summer. And so I loved looking at the landscape as we traveled across the United States, zigzagging back and forth. And um, I was always in the back. So I got this hind view watching the mountains as they disappeared, not appearing. And um, I, I felt like that was something that really got into my blood, seeing these vistas that are so much of America and it was so vast and so different in so many different places and so many different ways. And um, eventually when I was 18, I dropped out of college studying art midterm because I, I wanted to see more of America. So I decided to hitchhike and, and uh, hop freight trains. So that's how I managed to travel for three months, but I really got to see America up close. And so this idea of the landscape and expressing what I would see has always been also in tandem with my painting. It's been something that has always informed who I am. I just find nature fascinating. And when I see a landscape, there's something that resonates within me just as a human being that um, I find the aesthetics of a place can somehow sometimes just be so overwhelming. That would be something that I would like to try to capture in paint on a canvas. I guess in a way I'm looking for a feeling in the sense that um, I don't know what I'm expecting. And I'm usually drawn by something that would probably be uh, described as a feeling, but it is looking for a nuance or something that I hadn't really seen before. I don't know what that can be by definition. So I sense it through just being out there and, and being surprised or caught off guard. When I first start a painting, just like walking out into nature, I find that when I approach a canvas, the best approach for me is to look for something I hadn't seen before. Usually what I start out with is really arbitrary colors and they're there to define where things go on the canvas, but they're also there to challenge me to not be stuck with a certain color in mind to say that is, for instance, the sky is blue. So I will, I will run the gamut of colors before I get back to, yes, okay, in this case, the sky is blue, because I will come back to that often, but underneath there may be a dozen different colors that have sat on the surface with the idea that that's where it's going to end up. And sometimes it does. So I will put on sometimes a thin amount of paint just to cover the canvas. I rarely cover the entire canvas with one color. Sometimes I'll draw in with pencil. Some It's really varied, but most often I'll put in these arbitrary colors and then I'll decide whether I want to work with thick paint or not. I allow that to happen or I don't. Um, sometimes I'll allow it to happen and then scrape it back down to a, a, just a, a very smooth canvas, basically, with a lot of paint that had been on it. And as an artist, I, I want people to look at the materials and how things are done rather than giving a narrative. So the narrative is kind of, for me, within what's shown in the landscape. That is, you can get a sense of where something is and how the climate and the weather and the geology has affected um, what you're seeing and perceiving through my painting. But also, I just love to see when um, artists bring to the work an attention to the surface. And that's what I want people to get from my work, as well as feeling like there is something really important to be seen in nature.
it takes a level of commitment that is probably beyond your expectations. But if you're willing to have a really interesting life and do some really interesting things and end up feeling like you've made a contribution somehow to our visual world and what it is to be a human, that's that's the best thing. And you should never walk into a situation of trying to be an artist and also think that that somehow you're going to be wealthy from doing that. You may wind up with a pile of money from doing it, but it, but that's not going to make your best work. That's where you run into trouble. Anything that you do to make the process hasten for any reason whatsoever is the wrong way to go about it. And so putting a monetary value on it, um, having a deadline uh, can take away. And you have to be able to let go of all of that in order to paint or do any artwork whatsoever from my perspective.